Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about something that might surprise you in the world of Linux distributions. What if I told you there is a distro out there that's been quietly dominating for years, offering rock solid stability without the bloat of bigger names. I'm talking about MX Linux. A true hidden gem in the crowded Linux landscape of 2025. If you're tired of the usual suspects like Ubuntu or Mint and want something that's lightweight, powerful and incredibly user-friendly, stick around. We will explore why MX Linux deserves your attention, its standout features and whether it could be your next daily driver. Let's dive in. Beyond Ubuntu and Mint, what makes MX Linux unique? First off, Let's address the elephant in the room. Why consider MX Linux when Ubuntu and Linux Mint are so popular? Well, MX Linux is built on Debian stable, which means it inherits that legendary liability. But it adds its own flair, unlike Ubuntu's frequent updates that can sometimes introduce bugs or Mint's focus on polished cinnamon desktop. MX Linux strikes a balance as a midway distro not too heavy not too minimal it's a collaboration between the anti x and former mipsys communities blending efficiency with elegance initial impressions it's lightweight enough to run smoothly on older hardware yet robust for modern setups think of it as the underdog that's been topping distro watch rankings for years because it's overlooked by newcomers chasing flashy features but loved by those who value performance and simplicity there is a mistake many make assuming the big names are always best mx linux proves otherwise with tools that makes it feel custom built for real users now unpacking the power features that matters in 2025 Now let's unpack what makes MX Linux shine in 2025. Stability and performance are at its core. Based on Debian, it delivers consistent crash-free operation. Real-world benchmarks show it boosts faster and uses less RAM than many competitors. For example, on mid-range hardware, it often edges out Ubuntu in resource efficiency. making it ideal for multitasking without slowdowns but the real stars are the mx tools suite mx snapshot lets you create bootable live usps or backups of your entire systems in minutes which is perfect for testing or sharing custom setups mx tweak handles quick adjustments like theme changes or panel configurations without digging through config files and the mx package installer it's a one stop shop for apps from debian repos backports or flat packs all with a simple interface community support is another highlight active forums detailed docs and video tutorials make troubleshooting a breeze whether you are a newbie or a pro this ecosystem feels welcoming and thriving now user experience deep dive is it right for you moving to the user experience is mx linux beginner friendly the answer absolutely installation is straight forward download the iso xfce is a flagship but kde and flexbox options exist boot from usb and follow the graphical installer it auto detects hardware well including wifi and printers and supports both systemd and syswinit for flexibility for everyday workflows it's a dream browsing with firefox is a snappy media playback via vlc handles everything flawlessly and productivity apps like libreoffice integrate seamlessly Customization is where it excels. Big desktop with themes 
icons or conkeys those handy desktop widgets you can tailor it from a minimalist setup for a low end machines to a feature rich environment for power users if you are coming from windows the familiar layout eases the transition and tools like mx boot options make dual booting simple now the why now factor mx linux relevance in 2025 Why is MX Linux especially relevant in 2025? Hardware compatibility is a top notch. It runs great on cutting edge laptops with modern kernels or older rigs thanks to its lightweight design. Users report reviving ancient machines that struggle with heavier distros, extending device life and reducing e-waste. Security and privacy It's committed here. Debian's stable base means fewer vulnerabilities. And upcoming MX25 adds secure boot support for enhanced protection. No bootware tracks you and privacy focused tools are easy to add. For future proofing, development is active. MX25 based on Debian 13 introduces VLAN by default on KDE for better graphics performance. It drops 32-bit ISO, but keeps supporting older versions, and refines tools for evolving needs. This trajectory ensures it stays innovative without losing its stable roots. Now, final verdict: Is MX Linux your next OS? To wrap up, MX Linux core strengths are its stability, unique tools, and versatility. a compelling value for anyone seeking a low fuss linux experience it's ideal for beginners wanting ease intermediate users craving customization or pros needing reliability on varied hardware if that sounds like you i encourage you to download it from the official site and give it a spin on a live usb share your thoughts in the comments have you tried mx linux what's your go to distro in 2025 Hit like if this helped. Subscribe for more Linux deep dives, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.